Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so the credit card, and uh, you're, you're trying to figure out in this problem which credit card's better for you. So we have one credit card, C. It has no annual fee and it gives 5.5% cash back, whereas credit card D does have an annual fee of $20 and it gives 6% cash back. So how much would you need to spend in order for credit card D to be the better, better choice? Because they give more cash back, so eventually it's going to be a better choice. But when does that happen? So for credit card C, I would say there's no annual fee. All right, let's write a little equation for C. Let's model this. And you do get 0.055, cash back on everything you spend. Whereas D, the profit, these are profit equations, you're getting 0.06, 6% times what you spend, but you lose $20. So it's a linear equation, I'm thinking that C is like something, like some line like this. D starts out lower because of the negative 20, but it's a little bit steeper. So eventually they're going to be equal, and eventually D is actually going to surpass C. So I want to know this. I want to know when is, I'm going to solve this in a different way than I solved the previous problem. I'm going to use an inequality. When is this amount of profit going to be greater than this amount here? So I just solve for x essentially. I subtract 0.06 on both sides. 0.06x, excuse me. And then I get negative 20, that negative sign stays there, is greater than this amount, which is 0.055 minus 0.06 is negative 0.005, negative 0.005x. And then I'm gonna divide, did I get that right? Yeah, I'm gonna divide by negative 0 0.005 on both sides. Now with an inequality, whenever you divide or multiply both sides by a negative, like I'm dividing by negative here and there, I reverse the direction of the inequality. And um, these cancel out and this is going to be x is greater than this amount, negative 20, negative 20, divided by negative 0.005. That's $4,000. So we have to spend more than $4,000 in order for credit card D to be the better choice. It's quite a bit. So you pick credit card D if you knew for sure that you're spending more than 4000 but otherwise credit card C is a better choice. Thanks.